Inside this box contains one of the coolest set of files that I've ever run off in 3D printed. This contains 150 different 3D printed parts printed over 10 different 3D printers spanning three days of nonstop 3D printing. And it was brought to you by the folks that created the Omni display case. This is a 3D printable modular display case for your miniatures. And they just recently launched a new Kickstarter campaign for the Omni 2. This is a 3D printable modular carrying case for, you guessed it, your miniatures. And earlier in the year when I saw the Omni display case Kickstarter campaign, I immediately knew I needed to back that and start printing a set of these files for myself. So. I'm extremely excited to see what they've come up with here for a way for you to manage carrying your miniatures around when it's getting together with friends or going to a store location or a gaming center where you wanna actually play some campaigns or better yet, they even have accessory options for these carrying cases to carry around painting accessories so you can carry around all of your, not only your miniatures, but also some of your painting gear as well so that you can get together and paint some of the miniatures that you're running off and printing. And what I've got on the table here is a nice cross section view of some of the files that you can run off and 3D print from this campaign. And what's great about these is that they fit a wide variety of 3D printers and you don't even need a huge 3D printer to run off and print these parts. An Ender 3, a Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon or P1P or a Prusa should be able to print most of the files that I have here on the table. And the version that they sent me is the briefcase option, which should allow you to store up to 75 for miniatures inside this carrying case. And again, it's completely modular, so you can space that out for larger versus smaller, however you wanna get that. And there are four different themes for you to print from to further accessorize your carrying cases. And they sent me a set of the Space Gothic files, which I've run off and printed. So let's take a look at some of these crazy prints. And when it comes to printing all these parts, here's some of the basic settings that I used. I used a point two layer height, 10% infill. I did end up using supports for a lot of these prints where needed. However, I realized later on that I could go with about a 5% threshold for the overhang for the supports and still get really good prints by minimizing a lot of the supports that I need. And I ended up using a somewhat mixture of grid and the organic support option. And I also printed all of these in PLA. Now, most of the parts could be printed in just a few hours, depending on which 3D printer you're working with. And again, Again, your speed settings and all that goodness. But with the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbons or the P1Ps, it took me about one day or a little bit over one day to print some of these larger outer case pieces. Thankfully, there's only a few of them. Now let's get all 150 plus prints cleaned up. Just like the Omni 1, the Omni 2 will require a few hardware components when it comes to installing all of these 3D printed parts together, including some nuts, bolts, magnets, and metal pens. And keep in mind, I'm working with a prototype set of files, so the final configuration and designs might change before the final file set is released. Now, when it comes to assembling the files, a few of them have been cut in half. And what I mean by that is it's one set of files, but to help with the printing and orientation of the printing, they split those so that you can make it easier to print with. But I need to now glue these together. So you can either use super glue, or in my case, I'm gonna use some 3D gloop to weld these together. Now for a really secure installation, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're using some nuts and bolts for this. And what's really cool about the design of the files is that the nuts slide right into place into the openings of some particular spots on the prints so that you can secure these all together. Also, it's so satisfying dropping these nuts into the openings here of this print. It's just perfection. And now that I have the two halves assembled of the outer case, I should be able to bring these together and now bolt them into one. So we now have the bottom half of the briefcase fully assembled and we can now look at assembling the top half of the case with some pins here to create our hinge for the top. <laughs> this is so funny. Freaking amazing. <laughs> Look at it, I can lock it in place. I can unlock it. 
and then it latches open. This is so chunky and just friggin' amazing. I'm just blown away by how easily this was able to be assembled. Took a little bit of time to assemble all those bolts and get everything in place, but overall a really easy assembly process. And the Omni team have just done an amazing job designing these files and allowing you to print them and more or less just snap them together to allow you to create much larger sturdy objects here out of really small 3D printed parts. It's kind of amazing just to put all these things together. And once you have your drawer assembled, you can start inserting some of these 3D printable dividers and you can print these in a whole bunch of different configurations to space this out to fit your needs for your different miniatures. And here's my first shelving configuration. I kind of went with a Joker color scheme with this and I should be able to fit a bunch of different miniatures in here as well as two different larger component areas. And the best part about this is if I wanted to run off and print some additional one of these slight longer boards here it's a really quick print these are like 20 minutes maybe 30 minutes at most maybe even less than that and here's just an example of a configuration that I set up with the one drawer approach so this is just a singular drawer and you could have up to three of these inside of this briefcase version of the Omni 2. Now, one thing I do recommend is using some magnetic adhesive on those drawer pullouts there so that you can actually use some smaller magnets on the bases of the files that you're putting inside of these cases so that they're not rattling around when you're carrying them. Now, if you're listening carefully, you might hear some 3D printers running in the background and that's because I went off and printed the full set of these files here, but what I didn't realize is that I needed another row of this bottom set here for for me to create a longer double extension with that could sit directly on top of this drawer. So that's what's printing right now. And thankfully these files are all 3D printable and really quick to print. So I, by the time I wake up tomorrow morning, all those files will be printed. And after a few quick hours of printing, all of our parts are done. And now we can start assembling our new drawer that is two times as deep as the original. They've also designed these little drawer locks that help you extend and secure these taller drawers together. And here's a better look at the two drawers that I've configured for my Omni 2. The first being a single drawer option to store some standard 32 millimeter scale miniatures. Some might be slightly larger than others. And then I have a two drawer deep option that's going to allow me to store some much larger models and again the wild thing about this is that it's completely modular and configurable to meet your needs so if you wanted to do three individual drawers you can do that if you wanted to do one massively deep drawer you can go ahead and do that as well and while those extra drawer parts were printing overnight I went off and did a little dry brushing and rub and buffing and finished my outer case for the Omni 2. Again, this is the gothic theme version of it, and I think it just looks incredible here. Not a whole lot of effort went into just finishing this. Just a little bit of rub and buff and a little bit of dry brushing went a long way, and I still think I want to kind of grunge it up a little bit more, but so far it looks incredible. I forgot to also mention that the latch on the top is magnetic. You install magnets in here, so everything just sort of snaps into place and holds into place when traveling with it. Now, if you're interested in more information about the Omni 2 and the Kickstarter campaign by Fantasy Designs, I'll have links to that obviously down below. This was such a fun project to run off in 3D print. Yes, it is a bit time consuming and it's gonna require a lot of 3D printing. However, it is well worth it and the build process was so fun to get this thing up and assembled and it was really easy to more or less get everything all assembled. And they've just added a micro option which will obviously require a lot less 3D printing and still allow you to have some really stylishly cool carrying cases for your miniatures and they're adding a whole bunch of stretch goals as this gains popularity. Did I see a mimic theme stretch goal? Yes, please. And once the files are fully released, I'm planning on printing the chest version that is just gonna be a massive printing project but will be really cool for when I go to different maker events and wanna bring along some of my 3D prints with me and have a cool way to display them and carry them. And let me know down below what you think about this crazy 3D printable carrying case for your different miniatures. I wanna say thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.